Webcam video is... Yeah, yeah, it's okay. But if you're serious about the video that you're streaming and want to take your streaming video to a whole new level, you can now use something like the Sony ZV-1 via USB to your computer. And I'm going to show you how you can use the Sony ZV-1 as a webcam next. My name is Vic Barry and if you're into all things video and for some awesome techniques, tips and thoughts and filmmaking, please consider hitting subscribe if you find this video useful. First step is to download the Imaging Edge webcam software for Sony's website. Now I'll leave a link in the description to that so you can download it directly. And then you gotta select which camera that you're downloading it for. So in this case, it's the Sony ZV-1. Once you've got this downloaded, install it into your computer. It's gonna be Windows for now. Sorry, Mac users. Now, when it comes to the Sony ZV-1, there's two little adjustments we need to make. First up is turn off control with smartphone. Make sure that's set to off. And then the next step is to make sure that PC remote function is set to on. Then connect the Sony ZV-1 via USB cable to your computer. Now, Sony say use the supply cable that came with the camera, which is fine if you've got it, but probably like me, you've got a whole ton of the USB cables that are lying around. Some are probably a lot longer. That might be a bit more useful. So just the one thing to keep in mind, and by the way, there is an issue with USB and the Sony ZV-1, which I'll get to a fix in a minute, but just make sure the cables that you're using are capable of transferring data and not just power, because some USB cables will transfer power and not data, so you need data for this to work as a webcam. Launch your streaming or webcam software of choice. In this case, I'm just gonna set up OBS really quickly and basically you can use the Sony ZV-1 as a webcam for any software that uses a webcam. You just gotta change it in the settings. For the Sony ZV-1 to work as a webcam, you need to be in movie mode. Kind of common sense, but just in case it's not, movie mode. Make sure you're in movie mode. Sony recommends auto if things are a bit sluggish and slow. And keep in mind that if you are changing the settings, this can cause this USB problem that I spoke about. So basically the whole camera can freeze up and crash and just die. Now, it's not dead, but there is a fix. When you install the Imaging Edge webcam app, you'll see a new piece of software in your start menu in Windows. This is called USB Reset. So if you do have any issues with the Sony ZV-1 as a USB webcam, then hit that and you can kind of start and go again, theoretically. Okay, there's one really important point here. If you're using this as a webcam, make sure you turn off the auto power off for the high temperature setting. Just put this into the menu, change that setting to high, and you'll be good to go. Now, the resolution is limited here to 1024 by 568 or something relatively small don't get me wrong it's going to look amazing you'll have depth of field and everybody that'll be on the call will be like look at how amazing this dude's webcam is but if you want to use the sony zv1 as an incredible webcam then you have to consider using something like uh cambling from elgato or any usb capture device or something like the a10 mini pro from blackmagic that will get you the best possible quality of the sony zv1 but Right now, USB cable, if you've got nothing else, this will work a treat. If you wanna learn more about your Sony ZV-1, hit the video up here. I'll see you on the next video. And if you found this video useful, by the way, please consider hitting subscribe. It'd be really awesome, it would help me out a ton. And we'll see you on the next video. And until then, don't stop fighting for yourself. <laughs>